Uh, on this segment of the show, we spotlight the issues shaping conversations in the Nigerian social media. We take a look at what's trending. There's the story of a 70-year-old uh, Nigerian who married a 15-year-old girl. That issue has been in the social media for some time now. We we'll we'll take a look at how Nigerians are reacting to this issue. A classical example of child abuse, as it's been described right now in the Nigerian social media. From The Guardian, we saw this reporter in Nigeria. A shameful thing has occurred. Yakubu Chenji, a 70-year-old man renowned for his frequent divorces and replacement of wives, has married a 15-year-old girl. Um, this is a story from The Guardian. Let's take a look at a short video that was embedded into this uh, uh, story by The Guardian. Let's take a look. Well, let's take a look at commentary from Nigerian Sani Suleiman tweeting at Mohasnism said uh, we must all rise against these barbaric practices and call a spade a spade. This is madness and both the old man and the parents of the girl should be blamed. In fact, they should be punished for putting the life of the girl in imminent danger and destruction. Uh, let's take a look at more comments from Nigerians Mina Mbubaka. Mina M. Bubaka 11 tweeting said he is 70 years old while his child bride is only 15 years old. He is widely referred to as Chengi, Change, a name that signifies his attitude of abusing the sacred marital union, as it was reported that he married about 15 to 20 women. Uh, these are comments from Nigerians. Let's take a look at more reactions of Nigerians. Outrage in the social media actually over this issue. Oshila Jadida, you're tweeting at uh, Oshila Jadayo, said this is disheartening. One of the things Emi Asanusi is fighting against, but instead of supporting him, they've been trying all they could to shut him up. From Oshila Jadida, we saw that tweet and then from Galadim and Nathan on Facebook. I'm surprised that the bride isn't smiling, as is always the case with ladies. Why are the children of elites not giving out at this age in the North? This is so, so unfair to this girl child. Uh, from Galadima Nathan on Facebook, we saw that post. I'm from Hayati One. It's better to marry a 15 years old girl than to rape an underage kid or sleep with a 15, 13-year-old in the name of lovemaking. Also, better than having random fatherless children on the streets as robbers, cultists, etc. Et having a very contrary opinion uh, to some of the comments we've seen so far. Still tweeting from Hayati One. He said, and yes, in Islam, once a girl or boy attains puberty, he or she is ripe for marriage. That doesn't mean it's compulsory to be married at that age. We can never amend the verses of the Holy Quran to suit your interests, people. We don't have Old and New Testaments. Thank you. From Hayati One, we saw that tweet uh, yesterday. And uh, we'll take a look at one more tweet from Eats Shamex. It is his choice. And also, if there's an agreement between the two parties and the marriage was done Islamically, then I see no problem. Islam permits such thing. And um, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce it. Ango Kasha Kanshi, Alaya Abaka Chi Auren. I mean, okay, I hope I tried. <laughs> From Matthew T. Page, Matthew T. Page had just three words to describe that. He said, disgraceful, sad, heartbreaking. Uh, reactions to this case of the 70 year old man who married a 15 year old girl. Classical case of child abuse, as we said earlier. We move on to this issue that was also trending yesterday. Activist Aisha Yusufu is saying that President Muhammadu Buhari must debate. In a video that she posted on Twitter, which has since gone viral, she said, So Vice President Yemi Oshibajo is the one they want to debate on behalf of President Muhammadu Buhari? Then what he says you would believe? Same man who was acting president yet couldn't act? Aisha Yusufu posted this video. Let's take a look at the video and the comments are followed. The next thing that is online right now is the fact that they want the vice president to debate on behalf of the president. And so you know what? This president, Mohamed Buhari's administration, seems to think that all of us are mumu. You understand? Fool us once, shame on you. Fool us twice, shame on us. How are we going to agree that the Vice President, Professor Yemi Osibanjo, will stand in for the President during the debate? Some are saying that, oh, as long as the Vice President debates, it's okay. No, it is not okay. 
Throughout this administration, how many times have we seen the vice president being allowed to do what he's supposed to do? How many times have we seen the vice president having the guts to do the right thing? Even when he was the person in charge, even when he was the acting president, the vice president didn't have the guts to do the right thing. Only once when the police attacked the National Assembly. That was when for the first time as acting president, he did behave like a commander-in-chief, like the person that was in control. So the next time they want to fool us with this acting president should stand for the president, no way. The president should debate. We should hear from him. We should know what it is that he says he wants to do. Because you know what? There's really nothing he's going to do. He has come out to show you who he is. What are you waiting for? The Hausa people say that the Friday that will be good, it is from Wednesday that you will know about it. The president has shown you his capacity, his character, his everything. There's nothing in it. Are you waiting for to be fooled another four years? Can Nigeria afford that? Definitely, I tell you, we cannot afford that. So at this moment, all of us should sit down and say, our mumu don't do. He don't do pata pata. We should shine our eyes. Think about it. He had three years to do the right thing. When he knew he would come for re-election and he knows that you will matter, he didn't do anything. Is it the next four years that he knows that you can't do anything to him? It is He is not coming back for any re-election that he will do anything? Please be wise. Let's think about Nigeria. Let's fight for Nigeria, please. Aisha Yusuf was spitting fire there. She's insisting President Buhari must debate. Basil Azubike tweeting said the presidential candidate who cannot debate with his or her opponents on presidential matters is not qualified to be president. It is enough disqualification to offer oneself for an office one knows nothing about. Worst of all, a former head of state and president. Shame. From Basil Azubike tweeting, from Ruth Okbese, it's disrespectful to the Nigerian people. I have never heard a father get someone on his behalf to explain his plan to his children. We deserve to hear from every presidential aspirant, not a representative. A presidential debate is not a delegated assignment. From Ruth Okbese tweeting yesterday, and from Alvin Hosso, I strongly suggest all presidential candidates boycott every debate with Oshibanjo. He should only participate in the vice presidential debate. Alvin Hosso tweeting yesterday, and then we saw this tweet as well from Abraham Itebu. I urge you to go and study the origin of presidential debates in America, which we are practicing now here in Nigeria. You will understand that the best debaters are not always winners of elections and best performers. Abraham Itebu tweeting at Aisha Yesufu there from Fashion Adeniyi. This woman should get busy with something more sensible. Coming with ugly videos in the name of politics is petty. What has debate got to do with solving poverty issues? What value has your videos, noise, added to the GDP? Get better value adding public work for real values, less noise. Fashina Adeni tweeting yesterday. And then now, uh, Samson Odeyemi 8, we believe in the president and his vice than in your inconsistency from activist to politician. Firing shots at Aisha Yusufu there. We move on from this art issue now to... Donald Duke, formerly of the PDP, now of the SDP, presidential candidate of the Social Democratic Party, Donald Duke is firing shots at the PDP and the PDP presidential candidate, Atiku. Uh, in a video which has gone viral on social media, that video was shared with us by Charlie Boy, the popular area father. Let's take a look at what Charlie Boy shared. Uh, he said, here is one reason I tell you, Atiku, not an option. Do you agree with Donald Duke, area father, Charlie Boy tweeting? And this is the video. Let's take a look at the video and the comments that followed. Okay, it appears we don't have that video right now, uh, but we'll, let's take a look at the comments from, uh, from Ben Murray, Bruce Charles. You and I know that as handsome and eloquent as he is, Donald Duke has no chance in 2019. What you are doing is strategically unwise. I mean no disrespect to either you or Mr. Duke, but if you truly want Buhari gone, Atiku is the only choice. From Ben Murray, Bruce, we saw that tweet from uh, Club Joggers, and you enjoyed PDP several years of your life. You rode on the party to fortunes and popularity. Now you can castigate the party and its candidate. Quite a pity we don't have truthful leaders in Nigeria, only politicians of stomach and family affairs. And then from uh, uh, Bogos, uh, government is not about good men, but strong institutions. A leader needs not be good. Anyone with the will to strengthen and empower institutions and bold enough to allow law stand and be enforced is what is needed. Forget this saint talk crap. 
from Gugus. We saw that tweet. And then uh, from On Yexo, no, sir, I don't agree. We are not looking for a saint. We are looking for competence and capacity. We live in the real world, not some utopian imagination of what should be. Atiku is realistically the most capable candidate that has a chance of defeating Ignoramos. On Yexo tweeted that. And then from Cyril Ebe, Donald Duke himself is not an option. I'm from Cross River, and I'm telling you, he's full of treachery. From Cyril Ebe, we saw that uh, tweet. And then from Chibens93, Donald Duke is working for Buari's re-election. Atiku is not the incumbent. He's supposed to be telling us what and what the incumbent is doing wrong that he wants to do right, not talking about Atiku. At least until June 12, Atiku is not yet our president. Leave Atiku alone. Chibens93 tweeting there yesterday. Uh, on this note, we wrap up Kakaki Social. Uh, sad we couldn't play you that video. I think I'm going to bring you that video on Monday. If we couldn't play it today, a uh, video of Donald Duke uh, throwing shots at the PDP and uh, Atiku. Well, follow the conversation on our social media platforms at Kakaki Social on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Kakaki Social. I am Ohimaya Maize. Kakaki Social returns Monday next week at 8 a.m. Meanwhile, Meet the Candidates is still on. We still have our three presidential candidates with us. I'm joining Shola right away now as Meet the Candidates continues. Exactly. Uh, the